praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are going to talk about and teach about the word of faith. Now the faith is most important things in a Christian life. But the people will ask me many times, and if they have asked me many times, how can we increase our faith? See, faith is the word of God. The Christian life is must be full of faith. If we don't have faith, and doesn't mean it is a Christian life. And everywhere we go, we have to use our faith. In this pandemic um, season, uh, people do not know how to use the faith of God. So I will tell you a formula. Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6 says, We come to God and believe that there is God. And we cannot please God without faith. See, think about we cannot please God without faith. We can please God by worshipping God by faith. Wherever you pray, whatever you do, do it by faith. You know, when you use the faith, you get that assurance. You get a great confidence. I will tell you one thing. This is a real formula. When you go out and you want to meet somebody and you are expecting to meet that person and you are thinking in your mind oh I don't know whether he will be there or not but when you go out of your house believe in your heart you speak it out what you believe you speak what you speak you believe so I will meet him today that spoken word will give you an assurance within your spirit that is a fully confidence even your nerve system will be filled with it nerve, nerve system a full being Every fiber of being of your life will be filled with faith of God. So the more you speak, the more you hear the word of God, your faith will be increased. Don't ever speak negative, negative things. The death and the life is the tip of your tongue. That's what the proverb says. Hallelujah. So when you start walking in the word of God, when you speak the word of God, the word will come to you. And word will start to work in your life. 
Look at the king David. See, he was speaking always the word of faith. He had a great secret. He was having a secret to trust him in the law. Amen. Trusting in the Lord will boost your life. Hallelujah. So when you trust somebody, if I trust my wife, I can blindly believe in her. Because she's my wife. See, look at my God. He is our provider. He is our creator. He is our everything else. So when you have any problem within your life, you believe it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when you believe that one, your being, your entire fiber of your being will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I have, when I, uh, I feel something different in my faith, I run to the word of God. I open the Psalms and Proverbs. I start reading even, even Jesus Christ messages. Then it really gives me power and energy. So in this season, if you are at home, if you are in travel, maybe in outside for purchasing some goods, some grocery items. But you believe the word of God is within me. The power of God is within me. This evil virus will never touch me. No evil shall befall you. No virus, no gems never touch you. Believe that. You are completely covered by Jesus Christ. You are already covered by Jesus. The power of God is overshadowing you. It is really a supernatural word of God. Trust in the word of God. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Look at Acts of Apostles. The apostles chosen some special people. Like St. Stephen, St. Philip, and so on. The quality and qualification of those people, they were filled with the Holy Spirit, they were filled with the Word of God, they were filled with the faith of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the Word of God, filled with the word, faith of God. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 12, verse 3 says, No, Muna, 3. It says, You have received the measure of faith. You have got already that faith measure within you. You can increase the level of faith within you. 
That's what the word of God says. Every word comes out of your mouth shall be established. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrew 10, 23 says. Let us hold our faith confession. Let us hold the faith of our confession. Speak the word of God. In any situation, it will vanish. Every problem will raise. Everything will go. If you don't have a business, call the business. Call the business. Hallelujah. So calling the things which do not exist, but as they do wear. Hallelujah. This is what we really needed today. Calling the things. Hallelujah. When you believe that, when you speak in that, you will really enjoy it. Because you shall eat the fruit of your mouth. That's what the word of God says. So life and the death is at the tip of your tongue. Don't ever forget it. Always speak positive things. Always speak life. Life is within you. The life of Jesus Christ. Read and study the New Testament. You will be filled with the power of God. Hallelujah. We will see you next time tomorrow. Hallelujah.